Welcome to Orion's Basement and Beyond. Before we get started, I just wanted to show you how to get thumbsticks on your NVIDIA controller. And it's, it's kind of easy. All you need to do is get some non-adhesive mounting putty. Like the ones with the... This, this, they sell it in strips. And I think it's made from Loctite. Yeah, it doesn't matter. And just... Well, not non-adhesive non-permanent, not non-adhesive. It's, it's uh, non-permanent, so you can take it right back off with whatever reason you need to. And all you have to do is just cut it like in a little circle, or however you want to do it. It's flat. They're flat strips. And um, that's all you gotta do. Cut it. I cut mine into like a little circle, put it on top of the thumbstick, and then put the, the grips right on top. And it works perfectly, as you can see. There. And it looks good. Got the little, I think it's control freaks. Got the little concave one and the little con, convex. So they work pretty great. Just wanted to show you guys that, that I read somewhere some people were having trouble with it. So I just wanted to show it can be done with the Steam Controller. And I'm going to put it, I'm going to try to do it with my, or I, did I say Steam, I, I meant NVIDIA. Because <laughs> I do have a Steam Controller too. I'm about to put it on my, my Steam Controller also. So, there you go. Also I want to show you something. A little setup here that I'm proud of. A lot of people buy the 500 gigabyte version of the Nvidia Shield, which I do not have. But you don't really need to do that because all you have to do is get this. And I know people already know this, but I just like this little setup I have here. Because what I did, I put, I bought like a cheap little hard drive, it's a one terabyte, and it was recertified, so I got it, I got a good deal on it. And um, this, as you can see, this is the enclosure, 3.5 external enclosure, so it's a USB 3.0, because the NVIDIA Shield is USB 3.0, so you best have that, it's the best thing, if you want to play games and record. So, I just hooked that, I bought the enclosure, as you can see, it's going to be a little, a little hard to see here, and you can see the blue wire, it's right there, and it's hooked to this, it's hooked to, I bought my little Amazon Basics, this is a hub. And this is 3.0 also, even though it doesn't say it, but it is. And as you can see, it's hooked to the enclosure. And I got another USB. I think that's that's for my that's my dongle for my my keyboard for my uh, Logic Tech keyboard that I did a opening for. And that is connected to the Nvidia Shield, of course. Right back there with a whole bunch of other wires. And so pretty much that's that's it. it. Like I said, it's a it's a one terabyte drive. So and I paid like maybe fifty dollars for this whole setup, the hub and the enclosure and the recertified drive. It's around that. If you want to, if you don't have to get it recertified, you may pay a little bit more, but still it'll be, it won't be three hundred dollars. So you can you can get a one terabyte drive and everything for like two hundred fifty dollars instead of spending three hundred dollars on the pro version of the Nvidia Shield, which to me doesn't make sense. It's only five hundred gig gigabytes. You can get more for for fifty dollars for fifty dollars if you want to want to spend a little money. And you know, build it yourself. Which 
it's nothing to build it. And like I said, just get the hub and, and, and the hard drive enclosure and you, you just connect it. <laughs> that's not building. So that's, that's all. Now it's time for the real show. Okay, here we are. We're back. And as you can see, we're inside Android. And just to prove it, let's show you. So just to prove that we I don't have anything hooked up like my phone. Let's see. I name my device Eve TX. I think some of y'all can figure that out. What that means. And there it is, model and shield. Let me turn this down a bit. Model Shield Android TV. Model number P2571. <clears throat> Excuse me. And Netflix. I'm not supposed to show that. I don't think I'm supposed to show my Netflix CPS and I'm not sure or not. I'm gonna blur that out. I don't know if, I don't know what I'm supposed to do with that. But um there's the kernel, the build, and the most important thing there, full Android 1.3. So that proves we, we have the full Android on this Shield TV. I mean you could tell by looking at it. And um, Shield Android TV software version 5.2, and that's 1.3. The build 1.1.3. So there you have it. Here's some of the things I um, install. Some of the apps. Now you don't have to really install full Android Nougat Shield. Already gives you some great options. Um, you you because you can do this on the Shield TV. You have to go to um, something called ADB. You have to hook your, your uh, what is it? I guess you have to go into safe mode and go out um, hook your Shield to another um, computer, PC, phone, and then you access it that way. And then you have to put in some some uh, code, and then you can change the launcher. But you can't do it with, of course, you can't do whatever. You got to find out the code of the launchers and all this. So it's kind of a pain in the ass. So this doing it this way, you can, you can. It's just like your phone. You can just go go to the Play Store and download whatever you want. And you could get any app you want. It's not. It's not up. You're not leaving it up to Shield to to get whatever apps. You're you're able to do whatever you want. And another thing, you have the freedom to do whatever. But like, but you don't really have to do it. I mean, Shield does give you some good things, and there are some downsides. There are some bad things with this. You know, some, certain like the controller, the mic, this doesn't work so great. And also, you have trouble with um, like if you're recording, like right now I'm recording through the Blue Yeti. I have it hooked up to the USB, and it is is there's a lot of things you. <laughs> you lose but you can get it back you have to you have to go you have to uh, program it back in and I'll I'll leave I'll leave a link I'll leave a link to it how you program it um, but yeah you do you do lose some function and the mic see the mic works the controller mic what I meant to say was the remote mic the controller mic works, but when you when you're recording, 
in, and you're using the controller, even if you plug the headset inside in it, because it, it does have one of those little ports where you can plug the headset. So when you plug that in, when you're recording, and then you switch over to another app, only the commentary, like say if I'm doing a commentary, it, it'll switch off. It'll still record internal audio, but it'll switch off. Now as for that, don't think you can buy this shield and start recording off of Netflix, because I already tried that. It ain't gonna work. Because Netflix has, um, what was it, HDCP or something. <clears throat> and you won't be able to, um, you won't be, it, the screen will be just black if you try to record it. So, that's the downside. That's not a downside, I mean, they, you know, they gotta look out for themselves. So there's no point in me showing you Netflix, but I think it'll record, you know, outside. Like the little intro scenes. Let's find out. Let's see, there we go. We're inside Netflix. Here's my list. Into a little freaky stuff there. This is gonna be good for us, it's really good. And Death Note. See if I could put some of these up for you though. I got my ways of putting up some movies. Like Castlevania. I'm still watching Doctor Strange. Alright, let's back out of that. And then, let's see, we'll go on. Okay, now we're gonna open YouTube. And my channel, see it up there, Ryan's Basement and Beyond. And let's see, let's test something here. I don't know, we'll oh, just. Okay, this is how you create a survival map super fast with Ravage. It's so easy, it's insane. Mm. We're gonna go with we'll go with summer shoes. May look into that. I haven't tried that one mm. yet. There you go. YouTube is working pretty good. And what should we try next? And it's my antivirus. CPU Z on here. As you can see, it says all, tells me what I have. My cores, four cores, has the NVIDIA, as you can see, NVIDIA Corporation, NVIDIA Tegra, is your proof, baby. Or proof. No proof that we got the God doggone NVIDIA Shield with a full Android and the screen I put all my gaming things there's Steam you could stream your Steam um, you could stream Steam from your PC onto here I'm not gonna put the games on because that's the problem with with this thus far I can't the, when you put on the games it, you hear like a little some crackling well, it's just static with me it's just static and this is a known problem this is this is another issue with the Nvidia shield you think they would go above and beyond you think they would have the perfect machine especially recording since they is they're using their great recording software but and, and they have the design you know the to me the best video cards graphics cards out there but and they and they have a great device here that can do everything could stream play games stream games like i just said <laughs> um you could watch live tv but recording it has issues as you hear popping you hear crackling just with the games 
and even outside the game anytime you like they play music you, you'll hear like a little popping and clicking and if you look it up they they have this issue it's just an issue with just with the Nvidia sh with the shield and with this the TV I don't know about the tablet but the Nvidia shield TV you have that problem and they they don't they didn't I think they just didn't care because they're like everything else works everything else is perfect so why not this why 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 fix it see I got software to remove it I got some expensive software so I think it's called isotope but you know you shouldn't have to do that I mean I just happen to have it but if you don't you know some people when you're recording you're gonna hear like a little popping and that's that's annoying to you some people like to record and commentary to have commentary so that's something they need to address and I don't, I don't think they, they've done it yet but, uh, oh, yeah so we, we gonna, we're gonna leave that alone but you can see some, some of the games I have Tomb Raider, Rush Rally got my GTA 3 got this this is a cool game Nitro Nation um, the stranger that's that's a that's a legit that's a legit app game Android app um, some some of the apps some of the apps uh, I mean most of the apps don't have control support the newer ones do so if you're looking for like um, to play games to play the Android games with this it's it's good but it's a lot of games you won't be able to play you can you know, always use an emulator but a lot of them don't have that support so you can be a little disappointed with that and yeah Metal Gear Rising that's a that's a nice game man action-packed okay we're inside Cody and you can see some things here these are my add-ons for Cody. So you can get some live TV. I got my super favorites. This, th this makes things so much easier. Organizes all. You can organize anything you want. As you can see. I put like little. I got categories here. And. See, I got the 24-7 shows, documentaries, live TV, movies, music, sports TV shows. And right, just go, on, you go inside these add-ons. Hey, you see I like UFOs. But like say for instance, like right here, documentary. You see a certain documentary documentary you like. Go under going to nature see I was just watching this the rhinos killing up the poor rhinos you just go in there and then you hit you hit C and there you, then you can add it right to your super favorites well, I can show you when I could do it and you know you can make categories the cool thing about this this one is that you can you can make a folder right on the fly but I will put this in my documentaries just do just do that hit OK and it would save it so that's that's pretty cool and so anything you want to watch you can just categorize it and I don't know what's going on here it makes it makes things a little easier uh, Exodus. This is your. That's for, you want to watch. You can get any movie you want there. Sports. Um. I forgot where. Which one did I get live TV from? I can't remember one of these. Hmm. That's curious. Where did I get it from? 
But regardless, the, you can't get live TV. I'll prove it. Like say you want to watch MSNBC. And I have Fox too, don't worry. I'm just not gonna show it. It's further down. See, look at that. That's perfect. HD. That's beautiful. Got my boy Morning Joe talking, bashing Trump as usual. Sometimes deservedly so. Alright. We'll cut that off. But as you can see, you got certain channels you can get. You have to you have to search around. Gotta go in each add-on. You gotta go inside the right add-on to find the live TV. And then you can, you know, do like what I showed you. Hit the C button and save it here and so you can um you know categorize it. You don't have to go to each individual add-on. If you had to do it that way, it'll be too annoying. You gotta remember which add-on to go to and you have to find the right section and then watch it this way everything's right here some of them you know some add-ons don't work some of the channels don't work on in add-on so doing it this way is much much easier that's why I love super favorites and so you can, I can go from here I can even access in my Android Back right out of that. Oh, we'll go to go back to the home screen, and I think that might be it. I thought it was gonna be long, but it's not. It's not that long at all. The last thing I want to show you is the launcher. I just want to change some, change the launch, the way it looks, change the whole setup. One of the main reasons I did this was to change the launcher to what I like. <clears throat> so I mean, I mean you have the, you could have anything you want so first yep there it goes I just want to try this um hold on wait we'll just go here couple things I need to install first like that so I look real slick and you see you got a whole mess you got a whole mess of launchers here so but I let, let's try the old one, the old version. Tablet. Um, I don't want to open it just yet. And what was the last thing? Oh, wallpaper. Cause the the background's gonna look real shitty, so you have to put a back. You have to put some nice wallpaper here. There we go. I like this 3D aquarium. Just in, just in case I didn't show you, I'm going to show you that I do have the ES File Explorer. I have the um, one terabyte drive installed. 
and I don't know, there's a whole bunch of test recordings. But there it is, you can see one terabyte, which is never one terabyte, nine, 916 gigabytes. And I'm using 35. And when you install this, it's just like, it's just like installing your anything, you know, it, it, like it's your real internal storage. So you're not, it's not putting it outside of, of anything. So it, you can play, you can install it and play any game, any app, whatever, whatever you, whatever you need. But it will, you will see this. Not that. Where's it at? I don't even know what I'm trying to storage. Now you see they do separate it. They separate the internal storage. Initially it came with this horrible 11 gigabyte version. And now this is the one I, I showed you. I had an earlier video I showed you. It was one terabyte. And there is, it's 900 right there, showing you 900 gigabytes really, but the one terabyte drive. And these are a total, are linked together. It's just showing you a separate, but right now it's linked. You, you would have to reformat it to, to link it together. And it's not going to work in any other drive. You try to hook it to your PC or anything else, it's not going to work. So be sure to, to drive that. You, you, you know, you you don't. That's a, you're just gonna specifically use for Nvidia. Now you can get it back. It's not like your driver cannot be reformatted back. But you, of course, you'll lose everything. And and you can move it over. You can move it before you reformat it. But I'm not gonna do that. I'm, this is this is it until it blows out. This is gonna be it for me. One terabyte should be more than enough. I think we can we can go on here now. Put it always. Oh, oh, I didn't do it. Um, I'll look into that. I may support them if it's really good. See that shitty background? That's not good. Uh, let's see. You hit this button right here. This will take you back to your widgets or apps. <clears throat> a little app window that you had that you had before. It's gonna be something here. Yes, File Explorer. Okay, we can do. We can do that. I don't know. I don't know what the hell I have. Let's just try it. So you left click, see this is a new column, or you can drag it over like that. You can connect it if you want, but I want a new column. So I'll leave it like this. And drop it. You can make it as huge as you want. See that? You can resize it. You gotta grab it on the corner right there. And look at that. That's huge. I love the control you can get with this. Let's see how big. Just showing it showing this to you for an example. What you can do. I think there's too much space up here. Let me, let me shrink that down a little bit. Make the Make it a little bigger. You see down here, you have this bar. Before you can move it, I program that in where it comes up. Cause it's annoying to just have it there sitting there all the time, taking up space. So it's in a perpetual full screen. 
I mean, if you have the normal shield, of course. I don't. I don't even know. Can't remember if it that shows up. I don't think so. No, you don't. That's an Android thing. But there you go. That's a cool thing. And as for the the margin up top, what you have to do? I figured it out. It's yeah, <laughs> top margin. That's that's what does it. Not this. Not the rows, but this top margin right here. And I think that's that's all. Well, let me. Let me go back here. Now you notice, take note of the the uh, windows. See, you can't see through it. Well, let me let me get this real quick. Let me get the wallpaper out the way. Um, my wallpaper. There, we go. there she is. What setting? There it is. That's pretty. Now we can set the glass theme. Now we have to do, do the left click. Sorry, I didn't mean to hit your fish. And on the theme. Right there. There's the glass. Gotta get it for the square home, whatever you get. Whatever launch you decide to get, you just have to get the glass theme for it. And uh, let's check it out now. Oh, there it is. That's sweet. That's a nice one there. And I think that's it. Got, got my live background. Got my launcher. And got my glass theme. What more do you want in life? This is the NVIDIA Shield for you. With full Android OS. For your ass. But it's, it, it's really nice. But you don't have to do it. This, this is a personal thing that I love. I, I really do. I really do like this. That's why I felt the need to do it. So, guys, I, I think that's it. I, I think I don't think I have anything more to show you. Yep, that's that's it. So again, guys, just take care of yourselves. Till next time, I'm try to do some gaming. I've been falling behind on my on my gaming. It's supposed to be a gaming channel. Not really. It's supposed to be any anything. Anything goes channel. But I, I'm I need to put up some more games, so check out this sting right back here. Let me see. Look at that fish with a big knot on his head. I forget what those are called. Oh that's nice, that's a lion fish. They don't have my favorite fish of all time. The clownfish. No, they don't have it. It's that fish with the, uh, the orange. It's orange and it has that white stripe. But you don't, you don't want to hear. <laughs> you don't want to hear with my favorite. Oh, wait. I just saw something up there. I don't want to do that. But you can write stuff up there. See? I did, I did that totally by accident. I don't want to write anything now. So guys, take care, and hope you enjoy the rest of your day.